The Shaka and I have come up to the village of Limby. It's the first time I've been here, and apparently it's only the second time um, a Muzungu, so a stranger, has been up to the village. We've been placed in the school. It's, it's half term at the moment, so we've been we've been told to pitch our tent inside the schoolroom so we can move some of the tables around. And so we've had um, children cramming at the windows trying to get a look at this strange white person. We've walked for two hours this morning up to the Limby Roost. Um, it was a nice walk to start off with, I thought it was fairly easy, but um, it's always a false hope because then we got up to the natural forest and it's the tiny narrow paths, but it makes it interesting at least. Um, but we have got up here and there's a huge cloud between us and the Livingston's Roost, so we can hear them chuckling away to each other. Um, and they've seen one flying, but we can't see them to count at the moment. So hopefully the cloud will move within the next couple of hours so that we can get the count before midday. Because in the afternoon is more when they start pitching off to go off feeding. Um, this roost is in a really steep area. Well, they're all in steep areas, but it's in a particularly steep area. Um, almost completely natural forest, although it's difficult to escape bananas anywhere on this island. The uh, a man who seems to know the bats the most here doesn't think that there's much risk of the trees being cut down for planks because it's so difficult to get to but the, um, the main worry for these bats is again natural disasters the cyclone hit in 2007 or 2008 and took out two of the five original roost trees they've moved to new trees now and the numbers apparently are mounting again but um, there are many different pressures on these bats the briere is disparu Donc euh, on a commencé à ne à, à compter les vigistons. Donc on a compté euh, avec trois bois là, on a trouvé et 36. C'est bien passé les aujourd'hui les, les pointages. Donc euh, merci euh, de, de faire le, le pointage euh, avec euh, nos amis, euh, Monsieur Atman. Et Chaka et, et Poron. Brony. Brony. Mm. Monsieur Brony. Ah, yeah. Merci. Ah, bah. <laughs> one landed where another one didn't like it being, so it went up to it and um, one seemed to fall out of the tree, but um, it was alright in the end, it flew off. It's nice to find a roost that people can't get to. We've really struggled to get to a point to um, see it, to see the bats from. At first, we could only see one. It's only because we heard so many of them here that we knew there must be some somewhere. Um, so now, lots of them are sunning themselves in the sun, feeding, and mostly sleeping, being the middle of the day. Here we're near the village of Mbromaji, which is actually the lowest roost in Anjouan, but I still took a fair bit of energy to get up here. I've never seen a roost like this here. Normally the roosts are on a really steep slope, but this one seems to be in, in the bottom of the ravine. The Livingstons are living in the same trees here as Seychellensis. Seychellensis is one of the other species of bats found here, but unlike the Livingstons, you can also find it in other countries. It's unusual to see the Livingstons in trees with the, with the Seychellensis. The Seychellensis are much more noisy, they seem to be constantly quarrelling and they're just a lot more active in general. The majority of the Livingstons here are in one tree all by themselves, but some of them are mixed in with the Seychellensis. It's encouraging to see because we don't know if competition is one of the reasons there are such low numbers. As usual, they're, a, it's, they're in the middle of a banana field with lots of taro everywhere. There's also lots of vanilla, I found a really big, the biggest vanilla pod I've ever seen here. The owner of the field is also the man who's been counting the bats for the last 10 or so years, um, which is good, he considers himself the guardian of the bats, so hopefully this lot will be safe. This roost has moved in 2006 or 2007, it used to be lower down, even closer to the village, but since then the whole roost seems to have moved up here. Um, let's just hope they don't have to move again. 